Hey there guys, something ninja here. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server and how to port forward on a Sky Router. You can interpret it into different uh, types of routers, just you need to find the same sort of settings or sayings that they use. Now just ignore this up here, I've just got a timer up there just to make sure how long I'm recording for. And you want to hit, uh, well you want to start off by right clicking on your main screen and adding a new folder. I'm just going to go ahead and call this Minecraft server and let's just put it there for now. You want to then be going onto the internet and typing in Minecraft. Hit the top link and you want to come down here where it says download it here and left click that. If you're using a Mac, then you want to download this bottom one. If you're using Windows, then you want to download this top one. You want to save it. Uh, go onto desktop, find where your Minecraft server file is. There it is. And you want to save that in there just like that. Now let that download for a minute. That shouldn't take too long. All right, so now we have that file in our Minecraft server folder. You want to left click it. People, uh, sorry, it depends. Some people like to put forward first. I prefer to do this first. So you want to left click that. Um, I unclick that because I know it's reliable. And you want to let this run everything. This is now just running your server, just preparing it. And you want to make sure you click in this dialog box and type STOP stop enter. This will stop it automatically. If you hit the X button it will not save, you need to know that um, it won't save. So then it's generated our world and we've got band IPs, band players, ops, server, server and whitelist. This one, you want to edit with Notepad++ or with Notepad, I prefer Notepad++ and you get all of these different things. Allow never, level name, enable query, allow flight, server port. This is the main one you need to remember, that is 25565. Nearly every Minecraft server runs on port 25565, apart from some other ones which run on 25564, but it's, it depends where you're from. And then you've got level type default. If you want a flat world, you're going to type flat like that, or even super flat. I don't really think there's much of a difference with that, but I'm going to leave mine on default. We have a level seed, a server IP, game mode, um, the server IP you don't want to put anything in there, leave that open. You've, we've got um, <clears throat> a max build height, a spawn NPCs, it's, it's all self explanatory so set that up how you would like it and I'm just going to hit save and close. So now we've got our Minecraft server, everything's ready but we need to go onto the internet and this is where it starts to get tricky. Uh, you're going to need to port forward. There's a couple of ways of doing this. You can use the CMD. Um, I'm going to blur out some of my stuff here because I don't want you guys hacking me. Um, what you want to do is type IP config. I P C O N F I G and then enter. I have a problem with my path files at the minute, so if you have the same problem, what you want to do is press C, um, colon, inverted slash Windows, inverted slash System32. Inverted slash, I type Z. Whoops, oh, I've done it again. There we go, let's just get rid of that one. I think that's right. Nope. System32 and then IP config. And then we're running up with my IPv4 address, my subnet mask, which you don't need to know, and your default. Got, uh, default gateway. These two are the ones you need to know, your default gateway and your IPv4 address. Now you're with your default gateway, memorize it and you're going to type it into this bar up here. So mine is 192 and it's already there because I've used it already. So you can see I'm using a Skyhub. I'm going to go into security and it's going to ask you for an ID and password it changes for every single one, so Google what your ID and password is. Um, for mine is admin and sky, this is um, my second password I set on it. And you want to be going on to services. From services you want to add a custom service and you want to be calling it Minecraft. You can call it what you want but obviously you want to relate it to what you're doing. You want to TCP and UDP, that's important. 
and you need to remember that your port is 25565 and 25565 oh, and apply. <coughs> you then want to go on to firewall rules and you want to add an outbound service with the Minecraft one you've just created and you want to allow this always. Um, and then that's it on there. And then you go down and you add an inbound service and you want Minecraft allow always and you want to put your LAN server IP in this which is your IPv4 I think it is so mine is up here um, so um, 192 I know this one off by heart by now 168 okay and then apply that and we should be good to go. So that's all done now. Um, that will mean that you have now port forwarded and you can close the internet. You then want to open Minecraft. So let's go. Obviously you need an account for this. I'm not going to spell that out for anyone. I'm using uh, Spax PureD, PureBD Craft. Just type it in on the internet if you want to use this texture pack. And then you want to be type in local host like this. So let me just edit this is called local host and then hit done uh, you want to go back to your Minecraft server I think mine's already open down here yeah. and double click that so that's all set up refresh this there we go we got Minecraft server up and there we go there's our default server from here you want to be doing stuff obviously so let's just go and slash uh, nope not in there I don't know what I'm talking about. You want to go into this and you want to type up and then my name, which is something ninja. There we go. Oh, something ninja. Which then allows you to obviously game mode C. Oh, C. So that's game mode creative and you've got everything. And everybody can join your server. So you, what you do is you then send them your IP, which you'll find by typing in what is my IP. I'm not going to do it. Um, and hit enter and your IP will come up about here on the page um, or there's websites you can go on to find your IP that's what you give to people to uh, for them to join your server so the, my next video is how to turn a Minecraft server into a into a craft bucket server where you can allow plugins, mods and whatever you like so if you like this video, hit sub uh, hit like. Um, if you want to see more of my content, hit subscribe. I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And good luck. Pin craft bucket like that. Um, you want to hit the top one. And you want the latest one.